What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Grand Summoners. This is a brand new hero collector brought to you by the same exact teams that brought you Brave Frontier, which that team went on to help make uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, and then some of that team went on to make this game Grand Summoner. So if you played any of those games, you pretty much know exactly what you're in for here with Grand Summoners. Now, right off the bat, I didn't play Brave Frontier or uh, Brave Exodus enough to know why you would play this game over those games. I have no idea. Um, I played this game up to level 7 and I still really don't know the, the, the big differences between this and Brave Frontier and Final Fantasy. Um, so if you're more of an expert, please let me know. Um, the only reason I can really think of here is that you wanted a game with a fresh slate. Um, a lot of those games, well both of those games, Brave Exodus and Brave Frontier, are are pretty old they're a couple of years old um, so if you want to start playing those games they're gonna be really really behind there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you don't know and while that's exciting for some people for other people that's really daunting to try to get into a game that old um, this game on the other hand just came out so if you want to play a game in no style um, but you want to play a game that's fresh and brand new here you go Grand Summoners now let me just go ahead and just show you the game itself we're gonna jump into quests now, if you played Brave Frontier, all of these things look super familiar. Um, here's my current squad here. I'm gonna choose some food here. I'm gonna eat some salami, <laughs> which gives my entire team a 5% attack up. And I'll show you the town a little bit later where you can kind of um, create and craft things as well. So this is the game. So combat looks extremely familiar for everyone that's played those types of games. I think the, the graphics are slightly better than Brave Frontier, probably on the, the level of uh, Final Fantasy when it comes to the graphics and the sprites. Um, of course, you have your four characters right here, and they can all equip different equipment that you can get from the gotcha or from the game itself. Um, the game also has some autoplay features. So right now, I have skills on. Um, uh, they will only use arts when they hit a boss, and they'll only use their special um, equipment on bosses as well. Um, so that's what I find to be the best setup for autoplay. But of course, as always, you can turn the autoplay off so you can use your skills on your own, and you can use your equipment on its own. So for example, this heal ring, I press that, I get healed. Um, this right here increases my attack power, so things like that. Sometimes you might want to use those manually, but for the most part, I find um, having it set to do it on the boss fight, which is this fight right here, you'll just start seeing everything just light up. <laughs> As you can see, they just turn it on. Everyone starts using all their equipment, all their skills. Yes, indeed. So that is a uh, Grand Summoner. Now, after we get done with combat, I'll show you a little bit more of what the game has to offer. And uh, we'll do some summoning towards the end of the video as well. Just to see what's in the uh, the gotcha. See what type of goodies we can get. And that's combat. That is combat. So of course you'll kind of go through. And the cool thing, like I said, about starting a game that's brand new like Grand Summoners is that you don't really, like if you go play Brave Frontier right now, you'll fly through almost every stage because the game gives you so much for free. Um, that it just basically blasts you through the early game. Not here. Um, as you can see, that stage that I just went through, while not hard, um, it still took a little bit of, oh, hello, priest leader. It still took a, took a little bit of, uh, you know, damage to get through. All right, so that's that. So if we go back home, we got, here is basically your hub for all of your main features. You have Arena, which is very straightforward, exactly like um, Brave Exodus as well as Brave Frontier. You have your little squad here. Um, it's AI, well, it's uh, you versus the AI opponent. So since I'm still low level, um, a lot of the people that I go against don't have their team set up just yet. Um, so it's rather easy for me to just run through, unless they're trying to bait me. No, they're not baiting me. But this is Arena. Like I said, once again, the theme of this video will be just like Brave and just like Brave. <laughs> just like the Braves. I'll, I'll just make it a little bit shorter. All right. This guy's pretty strong for being by himself. G to the G. And that is PvP. 
One thing about this game is that you really can't skip a lot of screens. Like, if the game wants to show you something for an extended period of time, you can't click past it. You just have to sit there and watch. Um, so that's basically PvP, and there's obviously rewards, but I'm not going to go too um, into detail on that because I haven't done a lot of PvP. Um, Quest was the first thing I showed you. I just showed you Arena. Um, your town... Uh, so your town has a few different features. So um, some of the shortcuts are at the bottom of the screen, but some aren't. So Smith is where you will um, craft and create weapons and uh, level up weapons as well. Uh, I'll show you where you get the materials for that in a little bit. Um, but this is just kind of your bread and butter. Um, make equipment, make it better, make it stronger. I actually don't know what alchemy is. I actually have no idea what alchemy is, but I have an alchemy summon, so I'll do it a little bit later, but I have no idea what alchemy is, so I'm not going to talk about it, even though I just did. Um, you have the Adventurer's Guild, which kind of gives you side quests, so you can basically make up your own types of side quests here. So if I want to defeat five of these goblins, I'll do that. I'll get a key. Then if I want to collect ten fire ore, collect that. Boom. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Way to go, FG. <laughs> Wait a minute, didn't, didn't I have one already done? Deadline, what does that mean? Um, oh, okay, so I'm done. So turn that in, there's my key, boom. There you go, so that's how that works. It's basically a bunch of side quests. Um, so moving on to the other part of town, you have a diner, this is where you can make food. You get food as drops and you can also fish it out of the lake. So I can actually make a hot dog by combining some bread and some sausage together. And this is what I was telling you earlier. You are going to watch this entire animation. You can't skip through, like, any part of it for the most part. Um, but you'll use that to, to make a food that makes your uh, party a little bit more powerful. And then last but not least, there's a shrine, which I think is just like a, a lore station. But once again, I haven't really messed with that too often or too much so far. Um, so that's that. So that's arena. That's quest. That's town. Um, last but not least, or second last but not least, is the explorer, which is basically your resource grind. These are all the stages that are going to have your resources. Um, so events, you can do this daily quest once per day, then it turns off. Um, there's also a training um, a series that you can kind of go through to get a bunch of rewards to kind of teach you some of the finer arts of the game. There are bosses that you can fight, but you have to be level 10. Um, so if I decide to continue playing this game, I'll show you these in a, a separate video. But there's bosses that you can fight once you get level 10. Um, you have your dailies which basically rotate every single day. Today is Friday, so today is light day. So you can get light materials to evolve your characters and light materials to upgrade your equipment. And then the next day, it'll be like dark, it'll be fire, it'll be water, it'll be so, so on and so on. Very, very similar to most hero collectors when it comes to that. Um, and then there's a thing called boot camp. Um, boot camp is what you will use to basically power up your team. So there's a place right here where you can go to get experience. Another place right here where you can go get enhancements. A place right here where you can go get cats to sell. Um, you'll use these cats to sell to get gold. And then this right here, the Spirit of Exploring, which I don't know what that is either. <laughs> but that's pretty much the game. Um, and like I said, very, very similar to the Braves. Um, but the, the plus side to this game is the fact that it is brand new. Um, so if you want to jump into a game that is just starting out, this is the game for you. I don't see any guilds or anything like that. I don't know if those other, I don't know if the Braves have guild systems or anything like that. But there's definitely a friends list um, that you can have here. Um, ah, no friends. Why you gotta tell everybody, game? Why you gotta tell everybody? Um, but to end this video, because like I said, I just started. Um, this is more of a, hey, this game exists. Go check it out. So first thing I want to see is what the heck are Evolve Summons? I don't even know what this is. Um, use 5,000 Alchemy Stones to perform a five-star Evolve Summon. Sure, why not? Whatever. <laughs> don't know what this is. Oh. Oh. All kinds of fun stuff happening. Oh, so I already have her. Grindblade Corsair. So what am I supposed to do with this? Now that I have two of them, I guess I can limit break it. So if I go to units, and I'll show you the upgrade system a little bit here. So here she is. Oh, she's a two-star, the one that I'm using right now. What if I limit break her with a three-star? What happens? What happens? I have no idea what happens. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. Um, I'll, I'll think about that a little bit later. That's probably not a good idea. Um, so that was my alchemy summon. I don't really understand how that's different from anything else. Evolve form. They're already evolved, but it looks exactly like the unit that I already have. She looks exactly the same. How do I actually look at her model? Hold up. I got a better idea. Watch this. Watch this. Be smart, FG. I got it. I got it. Change. And then click her there. 
Are they different? Oh, they are different. Look at this little tiara. She got a little bit more armor here. All right, so I guess the best thing to do would be to do this, to limit break her with that one. This one right here, but I gotta take her out of my party. All right, so I'll do that a little bit later offline. So let's go do the other summon. There's also an equipment gotcha as well. Um, so um, just, for, just for giggles in this video, we'll do the equipment gotcha. 11 equipments for 30 stones. These stones I have gathered from just playing the game. I see a couple of uh, gold orbs. There's a purple chaos rod, 600% dark damage. Scorched Lance, uh, 1600 fire damage. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but it looks good. Bless Wine, hello. I like it. 1200, so I guess um, I gotta make sure that I'm pairing this with characters that can really benefit from it, maybe. Because everything seems to be elemental damage type. Then, I got this shiny chest here. Ooh, some armor, it looks awesome. That is some cool looking armor. Magic armor, gargantua, hyper rare. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Why is it? Oh, it's only a three star. Just cause it was like yellow, I thought it was like super legendary. So that is an equipment summon. And then you have the character summon, which is very interesting. I, I don't know a lot of uh, hero collectors that do this. So there is a paid 50 gems, and then there is a basically, freebie 50 gems so a lot of these games allow you to kind of gather in-game curse or cash shop currency by just playing the game in this game it separates it so if i want to do a paid um 50 gem summon i can't do it because i haven't paid i have to do kind of the peasant 50 gems even though they're both 50 gems just kind of interesting so let's see what the character summons all about wait what are you doing here touch oh i will oh kamihami on it Am I supposed to do something? What are you doing? All right. Oh, those look bad. There's like a three star. Ooh, she looks awesome. Gravemeister Mera. I'm not interested in fighting. There's something, there's just something I want and I'll work until I'll find it. Very nice. Oh, wow, super rare. A phoenix. Very cool. Um, some looking golem looking thing, a chick with a tiger, another super rare beast princess Ren. Cool artwork. I got two of that guy. I got two of her. This guy looks like a doofus. <laughs> I don't want him at all. And then what's this? This is my hyper rare. This thing is literally a world tree on a castle. World tree Valhalla. Wow. That is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, so that is the, the summons that I have here. So I'm, I don't know, I wanna play around with these things now. So um, that is the game. Once again, guys, this is Grand Summoners. Um, pr I'm pretty safe to say, hold on, let's see what this is. Bonus chicken. Ooh, I got some, I got some bonus chickens for summoning. Thank you. Um, pretty safe to say if you enjoy the other Brave games, you will enjoy this game as well. Um, but on the other hand, if you like those games and you're entrenched in them, I don't see anything in this game that'll drag you away. Um, but since I didn't I didn't play those games at launch, I definitely did not play Brave Frontier at launch, and I kind of miss the Brave Exivus bandwagon. So I don't know, maybe I'll play this game in the background and see how it goes. So that will do it once again. My name is FG3000, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next video, later.